Happy Sunday, everyone. Thank you for joining me for another cat tutorial. I want to start off by saying happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Um, and also a shout out to my subscribers and all those who stop by to watch my videos. Um, I do appreciate you guys. So just really briefly, I um, have been looking into um, some up recycling, you know, cards that are of sentimental value. And I'm currently working on, you know, some wedding ones that... Um, uh, I got because my wedding anniversary is coming up. So I was kind of going through the um, my keepsake box and I found those and I'm going to be, um, you know, doing something with it. I will share the end result next week. But today I'm going to be doing basically, um, of course, an everyday card that, um, you know, for anyone, any occasion as usual, you know, for most occasions. Um, I utilized a couple of things here. I had some die cuts I haven't been using in a while. So these are uh, mason jars that um, I ordered a long time ago. So I'm going to be using those. Um, that's here. And one of my favorite go-to for, um, you know, uh, matching uh, paper with the, like I showed you guys some time ago, there is the the um the shimmer paper and the the plaid oh not the plaid the oh my lord I was going to say the bland paper um but you know what I'm talking about so um I'm going to be utilizing that um with this video so I had this piece of white here that um you know I was trying to do that Q-tip uh, flower thing with, but it just wasn't cooperating with me. So that's why I changed off on the video. I will be using this just to basically make this a little, you know, thicker so that I can place on my cat base. So let me go ahead and do this really quickly. Um, I didn't want to get all this done while I was, um, you know, on the on the video because I, I always want to make sure that I, I respect your time. Um, you know, and do as much as I can before I actually start the video. So I'm going to go ahead and get this stuck on. Make sure it is lined up properly. Okay. So this would be the beginning. And I do have, um, oh, if you can notice, I have like, you know embossing on there as well because i love embossing folders so i always like to give this a little um dimension so you can see i have both of those with the nice little um, embossing folder design on there so now i'm going to just go ahead and get this centered um, on this here now because this is shimmer paper it's kind of hard for um you know, for stuff to get stuck on. So I'm going to use a kind of a thicker glue. I'm, I'm using, let's see, the uh, Elmer's, Elmer's one. So I'm going to stick this in the in the middle here. Because that's, that's really where I want it. If it will stick. So as you can see here, trying to get it stuck on. And then I'm going to utilize this same one and I will do the, get this stuck in the middle as well, as much as I can get in the middle. Now you may have to reinforce the glue for the one on the shimmer paper because it can be a little challenging. So once this is aside, let's go ahead and do the I had a little piece, if I can find it. Oops, it looks like I lost it. But there was a little piece on there that um, was supposed to go at the top. And these are basically from scrap paper, okay? So, you know, that's fine. Now, this one is just a closed mason jar, so we don't necessarily need to put any flowers in it. I was going to, like, stick a flower in this top here um, that I'm going to be cutting out and I will post it with the final, you know, uh, video, just making sure this does stay up. And now I'm going to go ahead and stick this onto my card base. Okay. 
Now, again, this can be for most occasions, but just, you know, be mindful. I like this this um, die because it kind of takes up a lot of the of the card so you don't you have you can use less in order to still get something beautiful so as you can see it's very straightforward and you can use it with any kind of die cuts that you do have so thank you so much for watching i'll be posting the final product okay talk to you guys next week have a safe rest of your week